So today we're going to try a compression test and we're going to compare and use a $29 kit from Harbor Freight. Now I use the 20% discount coupon. There's the item number right there. These are $29.99. You get a 20% discount. I think I paid 26 bucks. The other thing you're going to need to pick up is, here it is right here. Sometimes they call it a uh, grease whip. But you want the flexible one. Let's see, where's the part number? That's the part number you're going to want. This was like $3.99 or something like that. But you're going to need it because you're going to have to make an extension. Second thing you're going to do is take off the end. That elbow right there with that coupling will not fit down in between. It's just too far down. Will not do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take now, that apart. Once you get this off right here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the coupling off the hose. And then what you're going to do is, I'll show you, you want to check your threads, okay? Find threads right here, and you lay them on top of the other one, like that, and see how they fit perfectly inside of that same exact thread. So the next step is we're going to have to make an adapter. One side to go inside the uh, elbow that was on your gauge, so we need a little coupler right here. So we're going to make a run real quick up to um, a hardware store. And we're going to go into the plumbing section that carries the fine fittings like that. And we're going to go ahead and get a coupling. That way we can stick this down inside. We've already got the adapter in the truck. So now we have to finish making this work. So all in all, we'll probably have about 35 tops, maybe 40 bucks inside of making your own compression tester from a $30 kit. Which is way better than paying someone to come out and do it with a diesel mechanic or to even buy the $200 kit that might or might not fit in your truck. So let's take, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a trip up, trip up to the hardware store. I'll be back with the new cool tools, put it all together, show you how it works. We're gonna test out the compression on this truck. All right guys, this is pretty much what I did. You're gonna need some Teflon tape. All right, I went up to a hardware store and what it is is you're gonna need a, a female, um, coupling for the most part and this is pipe thread um, eighth inch so once you get the little coupling you're gonna put it on your grease whip like and put it in right here and what you know I mean you're just gonna have to take it back apart if you're gonna store it, or you can just leave it together and put it in your toolbox that way it does uh, swivel so you know it's it's like it can you know swivel around fold it up put a rubber band around it that way you don't have to take it apart all the time on the threads so we're gonna go ahead and put it the rest of the way together um, all right, after I pretty much got it together on the first try, when I went to put the coupling in there, it just wouldn't fit. Um, with a little bit of a, the extension right there, it made it so the part of the upper whip right here was touching the rocker. I couldn't get it in there and I couldn't get it to clip down. So all I did is, yes, it looks like it's bent in there. That's because I went and got a two inch extension for a eighth inch uh, male pipe. So, and then what I did was just took a bigger wrench and literally just I put it in the, um, put a little, actually in a little hole in my uh, bumper right here and pulled back, bent it just enough so that now when I stick it in there, it's away from the rockers. It actually fits just perfectly now in between the rocker and the injector. So you literally, you just put your finger in there, pull back, clip it on. So, um, we're going to test it out in a second, see if it works now, now that I've made the final modification. If everything works good, you'll see how to make a quick and easy compression tester, uh, compression gauge for your uh, 7.3 diesels. Now I've pushed a coupler onto the actual fitting and stuff, and as you see, even with the bend, it just is slightly touching my rocker. So just keep that in mind, but that's about the best you're going to get. Um, unless you were able to get a little hose up in there but my coupling was a um, male so I had to get a female actually my the, the fitting wait right, you got two couplings in there let me explain this you got the coupling that goes onto the fitting and then you got the coupling that connects the coupling to the pipe so if I had a male style um, or female style uh, first coupling that goes onto the fitting for the glow plug then I wouldn't have really had this issue 
but my way around it was just simply adding a pipe as I showed you earlier so next step is to get a compression check I just set the gauge up here and we're gonna try it out real quick all right since my friend Sarah showed up today I decided to make her be the guinea pig for turning the key over while I'm under the hood doing the compression check so yeah we got a hot little helper here today so I'm gonna jump up under the hood real quick and we're gonna get her to turn the key over we're gonna knock out the compression check real quick all right since I have a helper in the truck I'm gonna go stay under here and hold the camera and sometimes when the trucks turning over your rocker right here will actually bump your coupler and knock it off so I just stay right here and hold it on all right go ahead and turn it over keep going Keep going. All right, stop. And this one's a good cylinder. She's over 400 um, pounds of pressure. So, and the coupler worked absolutely perfect. So, hope that helps you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and call to Quentin here and go check out my friend's uh, car since she stopped by to help me out and everything. So. We're going to call it. Hope it helps you guys. Enjoyed the compression check making on the F-350.